Today I wanted to cover a subject that isn't too clearly explained in the game for Battlefield 5 and that is your specializations for weapons. In particular, what are specializations, how to get them, and uh, what effects they might have. So let's take a look at where your specializations are. So once you load up the game, if you go to your company, this is where all your soldiers and vehicles are. In the top corner, you'll see your overall level, uh, which currently goes to one from 1 to 50. And there are a few leveling systems in Battlefield 5. You have your overall level. You then have your soldier uh, class level and you also have individual weapon levels as well as vehicles as well have their own leveling structure so as you play the game you're earning xp you're gaining your overall rank if you're playing a particular class say a, an assault class you'll be earning ranks for that class as well so if we take a look at the assault class and we go to customize you'll see that my assault class is currently level 19. And if you want to see what you get for each level, currently the class ranks go from 1 to 20. If you go to the class and you go to progression, you'll see here as you level through assault class, you get these items. So you get weapons, knives, uh, handguns, all that sort of stuff. You also get a special assignment at level 10 of proficiency and also at level 20. The assignments generally give you uh, cosmetic items for these assignments you'll get assault cosmetics um, but you also get them for weapons and you also get them for other classes as well. So first thing to do you'd have your assault class you'll level up and you'll start unlocking all your weapons. And then eventually you might get to something that you like. For example, I like the Turner SMLE. Now this also has its own leveling system, which currently goes from zero to 10. And again, if you go into your weapon and you go to progression, you will see the what you get each level. With weapons, it's mainly cosmetic items. You also have again a special assignment for proficiency at level 5 and then uh, mastery at level 10. Uh, from level 5 onwards you get uh, uncommon items so you got your greys which are common, uncommon green, you can also get rare and epic as well. Um, but the main thing here for your weapons is from level 1 to 4 you unlock the tiers for your specializations and specializations are pretty much just perks so you're gonna be able to get higher capacity magazines or improve accuracy or hip fire accuracy those are what specializations are so the main thing when you find a weapon that you like or a few is just use the weapon it usually only takes two to five rounds of using the weapon to get to at least level four and then you'll be able to unlock pretty much all the perks. So first off, play the game, earn XP, play a class you like or a couple of classes and get through the ranks to get through the weapons and see what you like. And then once you find a weapon you like, use that and just play for a few rounds until you can unlock at least level four. So once we say we like this weapon, we can pick it, so we'll go, I'll go back to the start, so you go into your class, customize, you can choose a different weapon if you click here and go replace weapon, you can make another one your default, you can change weapons in games but you can't currently change specializations of weapons in game, so you have to do all this side of things outside of the game. Um, so say as a default loadout we want the M1 A1 carbine instead, it's now text and that is our default loadout. If we go to specializations, here you'll see a specialization tree. And the way this works is each row is a tier. And 
this would be level one, this would be level two, three, and four. So once you get through, through those first four levels, you can spend a little bit of company coins, it doesn't cost much, and you can unlock, and you only need to unlock one, which unlocks both sides. Now the way this works is how you can go down the tree. You can see these lines that represent the direction. So from here, I can either go straight down or I can split across. Once I get to here, I can either go straight down or split across. So there's probably eight ways you could configure your gun, but there's probably only going to be a couple of ways that actually make sense for using the gun. For example, for this weapon, I have less upward recoil, uh, switch weapons faster after sprinting, extended magazine, and then instead of going to hip fire, because I don't use it much for hip fire, I went this side and went for the 10% faster bullets. But you could simply go straight down or you could go straight down this way. Another important thing is once you reach rank 4 for a gun, you can reset it at any time. And it doesn't cost you anything to reset the specializations, but you can't do it in-game, at least currently. So to reset the specializations for the weapon, what we do is we just click on reset. We go to confirm. This will reset and we can now pick a different structure. So we could uh, we could equip all these ones if we wanted, or we could go down this side, or we can cut across. Now for me personally, for this particular gun, I like these. Uh, less recoil, faster weapon switch, extended mag, and faster bullets. So I'm just going to leave it as how I had it. Another quick mention here is that in your company, you also have allied forces and Axis forces, so your two factions currently in the game. For your soldiers, your class levels and your weapon levels do share across. So if I'm level 19 for Assault on Allied, I'm also level 19 for Axis. And the weapons are also the same levels and unlock along the way together. But they do have different loadouts that you can set. So if I'm playing a, an allied force as assault, my primary is going to be the M1907, but on the axis, you can see it's the M1A1. The guns can be changed in game, so you can just change it when you actually are playing, but as a default selection, you just hit deploy, that's what I'm gonna get. But for the vehicles, the leveling is separate for your factions. So an allied light tank might be level one, but the allied, the Axis light tank in your company might be level two. So these can be specialized individually. They don't share the same levels as your soldiers do. Taking a quick look at your vehicles, though, it's a similar thing with your ranking. Customization isn't currently available for them, so your cosmetics, but they will be soon. So if we go into the progression, you can see it only has four levels, and that's how many levels you need to get through to unlock all your specializations. In a future patch, you're going to have customizations for vehicles, so we'll start seeing skins, uh, assignments, and that sort of thing as well. So once you get to level 4 for a vehicle, you can go into specializations, and the same tree structure is there. I could go down this way, I could go across and down, so you really just play around, see what you like, if you like extended magazines or faster reloads, that kind of stuff. It doesn't cost much either. So if we go to tier two, I need to get to rank two, but it's only going to be 600 company coins, which you get just by playing the game. Next one is 900, next one is 1200. So it doesn't cost too much. It'd be less than 3000 to unlock a whole tier of specializations for that vehicle and guns. So I hope that video has been helpful. It just quickly goes over what specializations are, and I'll do videos later on looking at individual specializations for weapons uh, but I just needed to get this video out first so if there are any questions later on of what are specializations 
I can refer back to this video. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying Battlefield 5 as much as I am, and I will see you in the next video.